Hey, just how dangerous is the radiation coming from our cell phones? There's a big push going on right now to toughen the safety standards. And CNN's chief medical correspondent, um, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, is joining us right now. Let me just point out that he is a brain surgeon, so I do trust what he's going to say about this. So our cell phones, how much radiation? And, and I should say I'm a, I'm a cell phone user, too. I mean, I love my cell phone. I have two of them, and you know, I'm on it all the time, as you know. So, you know, I think about this from, from anybody's perspective. Sure. I think we're learning a lot more about cell phones. What we know is they give off something known as non-ionizing radiation. And, that, and that's important to know the term because it's not ionizing radiation, which is like x-rays and things like that. People know that's bad. Well, does this... non-ionizing affect you just well, as that, badly? Well, that, that's the question is, you know, what does it do to the brain? And for a long time, you know, we just didn't know. You know, it's only been since 96 that we've been using cell phones widely in this country. So it hasn't been that long. I think a lot of people are surprised by that. But we know that certain things happen in the brain when you use a cell phone regularly. There are studies that show you, you use more sugar, for example, in that area of your brain. So there is, a, there is an impact on the brain. It also causes heat. You sometimes feel the phone heating up, but it can also heat up tissue around the phone as well. And that's, that's, that's been the concern. People say, look, over time, over long periods of time, could there be a concern here? Mm -hmm. And that's why the World Health Organization last year, as you remember, say cell phones are a possible carcinogen. Carcinogen means something that causes cancer. So, I mean, what are they going to do? Say a cell phone maker can only make sure that their device emits this much? Radiation or what? There is some of that already. So cell phones nowadays, for example, as compared to 10 years ago, give off less radiation. But you know, if you read the package information carefully, which I'm sure you did. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, how do I turn this thing Just on? Just like the medication. <laughs> the, but it, it says in there, you know, keep the cell phone a certain distance away from your from your body. And like with BlackBerry, I think it's around five eighths of an inch. With a with an iPhone, it's like nine eighths of an inch. Give me a break! Eight, like I can hear that. What about? I, I mean, well, are there certain times when it gives off more? Yeah. So uh, when, when you have bad reception, for example, that's when your phone is really established, trying to establish a connection with it's the tower. Pushing. So it's given off more radiation. That's a good tip right there, though. So if you're if you're having a if you're, if you're really having a hard time hearing somebody, Hang up. that might be the time to not use your phone okay. or to text or something like that. Okay. You walk around. You got these things like hooked to you. You know, appendages. It's so how do Arms, you use legs. your cell phone well, as a brain surgeon and also try to guard yourself against non-ionized radiation? Non-ionizing radiation. <laughs> you know, so this is, this is a wired earpiece, which comes with all cell phones now. Because they tell you not to hold it to your ear, they give you an earpiece. And, and I, I think these, these are really uh, a very good idea. You know, now, you know, not everyone likes to use them, but the point is that this forces you to keep the phone a certain distance away from your body, mm -hmm. and you know it doesn't transmit any of that non-ionizing radiation to your head or to your brain. I also, again, like you said, don't don't use it in bad cell areas or trying to hang up or call later. And also, you know, don't keep it on yourself all the time. Like women have purses, for example. Guys, uh, you know, don't have that luxury. So, yeah. and so the front pocket, maybe the back pocket, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, or you could be like me, put it on speakerphone, then everyone can hear what you're talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Sunday. People want to hear what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Do check out um, CNN.com slash mobile society to hear more advice from Dr. Sanjay Gupta and some other stories about how mobile technology is changing your world. There's also a link on our website, hlntv.com slash Robin. Thank you. Thank you. All right.